Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, Kylie and I are going to be working on putting together some more frames for the bees. We're going to be inspecting them here in a little bit and uh, adding another layer because it's been a couple of weeks and they've got lots of pollen and flowers to be working with, so they should be built up pretty good. We're going to be working on the front yard some. We've got a multi-step process here. As you can see, we've got everything laid out. We bought these um, as kind of a kit that you can put together. So there's a couple of different steps for assembly. We've got to take the one of the placeholders out, uh, put everything together, get it stapled. Then we can actually put in our, our starter comb. So the bees have something to start with. Got a beautiful sunny day ahead of us here. You want me to staple the tops as well? I do, yes. Okay. trouble is is the wax sheets aren't real flat so you got to kind of gently work them down in there and they can be kind of brittle too if they're if they're any kind of dry so Here's that little bit of a lip I was talking about. So I just put that up into the back so that it sits flatter here against the, the rest of the frame. Because I saw the others over. Yeah. Yeah, the bees seem to not fit. Yeah. To not. They seem to like. Look at how good your 
working. All right. So that is going to conclude that portion. Okay. Here we are getting set up to inspect the hives Ooh, shoot. and do some growing if we have to. I'm going to zoom you in here and what Kylie's doing. So right now she's smoking them just to get them to calm down a little bit. I'm going to get you a little bit closer you could see, so you could see that comb. Look at the honey in that. So she's having to scrape off some of the excess honey, which obviously we don't like to do, but it's called part, burr comb. Part of the process. Can you do anything with it? You just leave it out front and they'll take it back in. Oh, okay. Yeah, they'll reuse it. So you just Fantastic. So it's not wasted then. Not wasted. Got it sealed up pretty good. She might have to use her pry bar there to, to get it up. It's easier to turn it first. To break it loose? To break it loose okay. because if you try to lift it, it sometimes lifts the frames right up. Holy moly, I've got to scrape all that off just so you know that. Which is why it was probably definitely time to check Look, look at that. I'm gonna zoom you right in here. Look how much they've gotten done here in just these few weeks that they've been here with us. Hand you up here a little bit. That is just awesome. All right, so see how they're working? How this one doesn't have a lot on it, but they're working on it? Mm-hmm. So you wanna be careful before we add the next box because then they'll abandon this. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm not quite sure, even though they're going so far up and I've gotta clean all of this out, all this burr comb, um, I need them to expand out, not up. So why do you have to uh, scrape off the burr comb, just out of curiosity? Because what it does is they're trying to seal it up. And if I don't scrape off the burr comb, it's gonna create such a, a hardened, I'll never be able to get these frames out. Okay. So let's check this one and see the next one over how they're doing on this one, because that was a new one. I gotta look for my queen too. We got some beetles in here, so we're gonna have to, a couple. All right, so this was one. This was one that we put in brand new and look how they're already working the comb out. So I may add that box today just because they're working so quickly, they'll be over there. Mm-hmm. Wow. How exciting is that? Very. I'm gonna change angles here so we can get a little little better view. So to make sure they don't have any um there's my queen. see how close I am to this to be able to zoom in and I've got honeybees buzzing all around me and I'm not nervous in the least because they're so docile compared to a wasp they come by and they kind of check me out and they just buzz right on through <laughs> if I was this close to a paper wasp nest I can tell you what I'd be a lot more nervous Such 
Now, can we put that somewhere or just leave it out and let them work it back in? Yeah, that's what they, that's what they, they told me to do when up north, when we just leave it out in front. They just scrape it all off and they leave it in front of the hive and they, my only concern here is what else is gonna come get it, but mm -hmm. once they come in at night, you know, I'm just gonna get some of the really big stuff and leave some of the small stuff just because for time and disturbing. Do you want a board to put that on? So it's not on the ground where the um, ants are gonna get it? That's probably better. I could put it somewhere else, but. Because I don't want to crush them. What's the matter? I can hear them crunching when I go to set this on. Because I need to do with the smoker and they'll go down in the thing. So. They are industrious. What a process. So glad to be part of this. So Kylie's trying to smoke them to get down in there a little bit. So she can put that next box on and not squish them. We're trying to be as gentle as we can with this process. That went on there pretty nice. So she's getting that separator all cleaned up so we can put that back on there. hard work. I just scraped off. So next time we'll be sure to get a bowl to preserve it. by putting it on like that on the side and turning it a little, sometimes nudges them out of the way so mm -hmm. you don't just squish them. Because I'm pretty confident we got a couple. Okay, now we're gonna get over here and check the flow hive. So that was 
much honey on the coming out the top like the other ones. But we'll see when we open it up. Oh, there's some more honey. Zoom in on that. Look at that. That's a lot of work. Just a few short weeks. All right, let's see if we can find a queen in here. The other one was so dripping, I didn't want to pull too many, but let's check the Now these, what I'm about to pull out, are the new frames that we put in and they didn't have any foundation in them like the stuff we put in today. We wanted to see if they would build their own. Wow, look at that. That's unbelievable. So that's their own comb right there. Their own work. And if you see it move a little because it's not they're not all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in on that. I'm going to flip it. Heavy. It looks heavy. Pull another one out. All right, so here's another one that we put in completely empty. And this one was more towards the center. Look at that. Look how full that is. Wow. Can you see the honey in the circles? Absolutely. Get They're busy. Right they have been here. busy, busy working. Busy. It sends them back two days. They have, it takes them two days to catch up to where they were before you opened it. So we let them sit for four weeks before, almost five weeks actually, because we put in brand new colonies and we were afraid of disturbing them too soon and setting them back. But uh, guess we don't have to worry about that, do we? That, that was probably a good call for us, but we're gonna wanna make sure that we're on every two weeks now just to make sure everything is staying okay. Because now the next frame's up. So this was one that they came on Zoom me right in here. I don't see our queen anywhere, but there are a lot of bees in here, so. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my smoker and get them down so I can scrape this burr comb off and get the next set up there. Then I'll shake the, I'm gonna use this bowl. Can you eat that? It's honeycomb. I don't think it'll taste very good. Yeah, we wait till the bees come off of it first. Dad likes honeycomb. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's that burr comb she was <laughs> talking about. Getting that cleaned up. <laughs> Gotta get that cleaned off so she can put the next level on. It's like a glue they make almost. This stuff on the top. Trying to seal it away for...
<laughs> Two. Halfway. All right, here she is. Opening up number three. Look at that, I'm gonna zoom right in there. That's a lot of work by those ladies. Let's get the top scrape first and then, yeah, this is what I was afraid of on this one. They haven't even touched three frame, these three new frames. So I might not put a box on this one because um, I want them to work over and not work up. So this in case would be considered a weaker hive than that one over there. Um, they're not working as hard or as strong, I guess, as that other hive over there that had all of the Frames. They were already working on that last frame and these, this one has not, so. You can see the pollen in these. But it's called a pollen pocket. So is there anything we can do to help strengthen the hive? Um, I don't know. I have to, I'll have to look it up. Okay. I'll have to ask our bee friends that we have made here when I ask them what I can do. I know. Give me some advice. Come on girls, get out of there, I need that. This is why keeping a bee log is gonna be really important and we're gonna to have to label these so we know, you know, which. And then I'll have to ask. Come on, get off there. All right, so I'll show you what I meant by haven't touched. This is what I mean. They haven't started building anything on this. That's the. Oh, they're starting a little bit on this one. It looks like mostly just hiding out there because there's no nothing filling the cells. Let's go one more in and see what we got. This one they are working on. I'll show you the difference. Look at see how they're starting to build out on that one in comparison to that side. So, these guys need a little more time. So we decided since they had done eight out of 10, we're gonna go ahead and add another layer up for them. Instead of waiting and then disturbing them again in two weeks. So here we are on number four.
These guys have drawn comb all the way to the edge, so this is definitely one that has to have another box on. Pollen stuck to the legs of this guy. I don't know if any time I ever open my hives in New York, they look like this at any time during the year. The honey just pouring out of them like that. No, I, I don't recall ever seeing it or hearing you talk about it. Not anything like this. Nothing like this. Nope. All right, let's take a couple frames out and take a look, shall we? So when you're looking, what are you looking for? Um, right now I was just looking to see if the, um, if they had built comb on the frames that we added. Um, usually the next time I'll be making sure to check for a queen. I'll be looking for any, um, additional queen cells that they're trying to build, which tells me that they're trying to get rid of their queen to overthrow her for whatever reason. This one might be that because it's a weaker colony. We, they might try to overthrow the queen. So I'll have to be checking for that. I'll have to pull every frame out next time. But because it's so tight right now with um, the building, um, I don't want to disturb it too much. It was a frame that we put in brand new. Wow. I'm gonna zoom in on that. Look at that. Look at the build out on that. Do you see the honey dripping off yep. this corner? The honey is literally dripping off of that corner. <laughs> And they are heavy. So every time um, I open them up from this point forward, I have to look for the queen. I'm going to be looking for brood cells, which is that the colony is expanding. I'll be looking for any um, pests or mites or anything that might be um, disturbing them. Today I really was just checking to see if I should go up a little, which clearly in this box is a definite. And I'll pull out one of the ones that came with the colony when we first got it. We've done a really good job gluing these together, that's for sure. All right, so see all that buildup on the bottom? Mm -hmm. That is what we call, this is where they start to create new queens at the bottom here. So I need to scrape those off. So. Is it because of the size and how densely filled it is? It is possible. And so they also are called swarm cells if they're if they're trying to get. So you're gonna smoke it and get them off there first, or how um, do you do that? Usually you just scrape them off, because that's what I've done before. But I'm gonna leave that right now, because it always had some larva in it, so. I'm gonna leave that and just do a little more research on that before just I. Just go up a level, yep. Yep, I'm gonna smoke it and go up a level, put the bees from the top in. and let them get back to business so that I need to do a little more research on my end just to make sure I'm not damaging them because we're still really new at this even though we've done this a couple times. Here comes the shake. That was our first hive check. Appreciate you stopping by the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Help us grow our reach. Have a great day, guys.